What is the expect expected accuracy of the diaphragm seal in the instrument? Knowing what is expected from the instrument is essential in defining the specification. The accuracy is typically stated as the greatest inaccuracy allowable as a percentage of full scale indication. The addition of a diaphragm seal may have a compounding effect to the accuracy of the indication tried to optimize the performance or cost. Bottom line is this. If you got somebody specking diaphragm seals, engineers, they look at one accuracy. Do you know what that is? You got a seal, you got a gauge, you got an assembly. What do they state? They state the accuracy of the gauge. No matter what, they go half percent accurate on that gauge. They don't take into consideration that you're now putting a diaphragm seal on the bottom with fill fluid, so you're adding a device to it. Any of you that are familiar with blueprints, when you're picking up a data point, you're going from one data to the other to get an overall length. The tolerance compounds, doesn't it? Every time you add a length that has a tolerance on it, you have to add it into it. Now that may be an extreme example, but the point I'm trying to make is, if you have some inaccuracies in a diaphragm, it's going to equate to the gauge. So here's the deal. General rule of thumb. When you put a diaphragm on the bottom of a pressure instrument, it can add 1% to the deviation. So for instance, if the accuracy of the gauge that's called out on your spec is plus or minus 1, our guys in the shop will try to get it as close as possible. But if it's within 2, after playing around with it for a while, they're going to let it go because it's within what would be considered allowable specification, excuse me, for adding a diaphragm on the bottom of a gauge. 